Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As always, um, it's been a while. So I'm here giving you back my, I got three movie reviews uh, for you guys today. Uh, literally today, I saw the movie, um, The Woman King. Uh, The Woman King today. And I will be posting that review sometime later. But for now, I'm, I'm, in this video here, I'm giving you my review of Bullet Train. And I've also seen the movie Nope as well, within, within the last few weeks as well. So, um, the first of this video here will be a bullet train. A bullet train is very much, um, oh gosh, I forgot to do it. Um, I think he's, it's the same director of Deadpool 2. Uh, David Leach, that's it, David that's it. That's it. This movie was directed by David Leach. And this movie has a lot of, I wouldn't say throwbacks, but it has a really interesting vibe to it that I really do enjoy a lot. It really reminds me of films from the early 2000s, like early Guy Ritchie, such as Snatch, or Gone in 60 Seconds type of vibe. And even with some really interesting like colorization of the craft to it, that's really much reminiscent of, let's say, um let's say Tarantino, and especially with the, the films um, setting in Japan with an on a bullet train, of course, what it does really well with its premise is its, it's, it's very own, I'm going to sound, I'm sorry, um, its aesthetic design, and it makes it such a simple, engaging, and very, very, just, very engrossing movie that I really just went, oh... This movie just felt like it was this only little special thing. And that's what made me love this movie. And while I don't, um, while it certainly won't be like my top five, top five different movies of the year, um, this movie just has such a great sense of vibrancy, tone, and insanity to it that really makes it its own little thing. And while, as I said, it's very reminiscent of certain movies from the earlier 2000s, this glare is really bloody distracting. The sun. Um, it, it doesn't feel defined by it because you could there it aesthetic and tonal shonings with this film that but it doesn't feel defined by like let's say earlier Tarantino or um, Guy Ritchie or or filmmakers like that. But the, there's still those little uh, like homages. Or like the simple type of approach that it has that really makes me think about those movies. But what I like about this movie so very much is that its premise, its story, and its characters feel so interesting, simple, and yet it just knew what it was and such a simple innate approach. It wasn't trying to overcomplicate everything. It had a very fun like type of thing. It, it's a it's a it's a simple summer blockbuster action movie that really knows what it is. And then does it to such a T that it just felt like, for me this year, it was the perfect summer movie without being too uh, high on, on its own supply. It's like, Bullet, from Bullet Train for me is like, I would describe as a B tier or of the summer um, movie where something like Top Gun Maverick was an A tier. And in comparison, our perspective, but that's what um for me at least what Bullet Train really had going for it because because it's cast with um with actresses like such as um Brad Pitt being the main fun like about characters that he always is being the smooth dynamic action hero that plays it really cool and straightforward. He always does that and he's always really cool at it. And of course, you just can never blame him because he's so damn good. Also, I got this little poster of the, my favorite movie of all time, the first little, the Lord of the Rings movie recently, and I got a tattoo about a month ago. So yeah, this puppy is really cool. This wolf tattoo here is really awesome. Taking good care of that. New tangent. I'm sorry, but um, the the cast was just really fun. It just knew what it was. Now, granted, when I have a um, I will have a couple complaints. Number one. The movie by the end is just, it's just straight up like bat shit insane. It straight up is and it's crazy. 
and yet I still like really damn enjoyed the hell living hell out of this movie. It just had this incredible insanity to its plot and simpleness that it, it felt like it was homaging other films, but never felt it never felt like it was defined by that. Its vibrancy, its tone, its setting in Japan had this incredible vibrancy with the colors. And like, as I said, the characters just were fun, they were simple, they were straightforward. And it never took itself too seriously. Like it knew what it was, but it, it, again, it it was so clever. Within, I really like. Now, granted, um, for me, some of the characters were just uh, when getting to the first twenty thirty minutes of the movie. Like it is trying to establish everything, in truth. But it was, n at the very least, in my opinion, it was. Uh, some of it was like, okay, I don't really care. Some of it, some about these certain side characters, and every side character, in my opinion, has a great standout moment, which which made me genuinely laugh out loud. Like every character, small or big in this movie, had a moment for me where I was just like, sorry, my cat is messing around. You had to do that, Alex. Come on, come here. Come here, buddy. Um, oh god damn it, I lost my train of thought. Come here. Come here. But, um, oh, he's so cute. But, um, yeah, Bullet Train, I felt like one of those movies for me where just, it kept it simple, straightforward, silly, and it always had a big, fun, cheeky smile, uh, cheeky grin on his face, and that's what I really liked about it. There he is. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hope it makes a thumbnail. Um, but yeah, uh, I just, I really had a fun with it. Like, granted, going back to my first point, is that I thought getting into the film, I was like, okay, I kind of don't care about this, how these characters are going to get this intro in. I thought it was well done. But at some point, I was just like, okay, I gotta trim something off here. It felt like, it was like 25 minutes in, and then it's like, okay, now the action is just starting to kick in. And I'm like, finally. I just want to, I want to be, it's also such a weird niche of a movie that is definitely not for everyone. It's a incredibly fast paced, momentum based movie that only gets more crazier until the very end. The ending, the last 20, 20, 30 minutes of this movie, right when everything quite figuratively and literally goes off the rails, it's just like, this movie is bat shit insane. And I'm totally game for it. It's not for everyone, which is also a slight in my mind, but Bullet Train just had a simple, clever, and yet strong bite. Also, Aaron Taylor Johnson and, um, oh, what the hell? Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry were both freaking hilarious in this movie. Also, a great, great other cast actors in this movie. Um, the Wolf. <laughs> oh, God. I just realized that because I just showed my tattoo of the Wolf. Uh, his character is really odd, but he, you just kind of go, oh. Oh. <laughs> The characters in this movie, I'm just going like, what the hell? And yet, they just weird, really naturally fit narratively in this movie. Also, Hiroki san I'm pronouncing this wrong because I'm reading off the internet. Hiroki, Hiroki Sand, Sandra, who's a Japanese actor, who plays the elder, he's always phenomenal. I, re I literally remember seeing The Last Samurai, um, which came out back in 2003 with him in it, and he's just as terrific as he was in that movie as he is in this movie. And I think he's just. Um, such a superb actor. I think he's, again, like, like another actor in this movie I thought was really great was Joey King as the prince. Like, she had that young, adorable brashness that you would see out of a character like her, that you can, that you would see, like, okay, you would kind of fall for a white lie, as she would say, but you can also kind of, in some kind of way, see through her, see through her lot, um, white lies. And, I mean, so many of these side characters are just so funny and so well done. Um, I love, I flat out love, um, Sandra Bullock as 
the voice in the ear for Brad Pitt's Ladybug character. Um, I mean, I, I, I never thought, um, I mean, I mean, this is one of those movies that I just thought, I wouldn't say, I, I'm, I don't know why I'm stumbling so many damn words here, but, and that's a history of my YouTube channel, I'm just, but, it's so cute, <laughs> little buddy. Um, yeah, overall, I thought Bull Train was really fun, fast-paced, fun, and dynamic. I give it, uh, an overall, I would say it's a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. It was a really fun, simple, straightforward movie. It's just really fun. You know what it is. It was never pretentious. It was just a solid, great, fun, momentum-based action movie that anyone would enjoy the hell out of. I also saw this with my dad, and he also really liked it. So, yeah. A big recommendation from both me and my dad. My cat review. My cat approves of this re review, right, Alex? He doesn't care. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Until then, cheers.